Seattle Seahawks versus the Los Angeles Rams. Uh, look, Seattle coming off a loss to Buffalo, a pretty convincing loss in my opinion. Now, Russell Wilson, he's not going to have, a, what, four turnovers? He's not going to have that kind of game again. The Rams defense, I like them, but their offense I like enough versus the Seattle Seahawks defense. Man, I'm sick of waiting for this defense to really kind of ball out. They have talent. It's time secondary. Like, it's time to put it together. I like the Seattle Seahawks run defense, but the Rams are good enough to pass on the Seahawks. Not every team is. The Rams are. So it's going to be interesting. I do think there will be points in this matchup. Let me get you with the fancy uh, football stuff here. Uh, Russell Wilson, obviously, a start. We'll see what happens at running back. For me, at this point, if Hyde and or Carson are out, I'm not starting a single Seattle Seahawks um, running back. You might disagree with me, David. I'm not a believer in DJ Dallas. I'm not a believer in Travis Homer. Uh, but if one of those guys, Carson or, or Hyde, are able, able to play, I'd play either one of them. Uh, this week is a bounce-back week for me for Lockett. DK Metcalf at me is an auto start. He's just, he's too physical, man. He's, he's, I don't even care about the analytics. He's uncoverable. There's just a few guys in the league like that. De Devontae Adams is another one. Just start him every week. Doesn't matter. Uh, tight end for Seattle. No, I stay away. For the Rams, I start Goff against this Seattle Seahawks defense. Um, you know, I could probably sit any, especially with the kind of the rotation there with the Rams. I probably sit the running backs this week personally. Uh, I think Cup, I think Woods um, are both starts. And I'm staying away from tight end this week, David, for the Rams. Take it away. Man, I'll tell you what. If Cooper Cup doesn't have a game against the yeah. Seattle Seahawks, I mean, we're, we're, you're already panicking if you own Cooper Cup. He's, he's just completely underwhelmed this year. And I was all over Cooper Cup. I, just because I was out on Tyler Higby, I didn't believe yep. Higby was going to affect him. Me too. I don't, know, I don't know what is affecting him at this point. Maybe he's not as good as we think and teams are starting to figure him out and maybe he was too touchdown dependent and you know we didn't factor in the touchdown regression up i don't know what it is but cooper cup is just underwhelmed completely this year uh, i don't think it's a bad idea after he hopefully has a huge game to explore offers yeah agreed the schedule's not terrible down the stretch but they face new england week 14 you never know if new england's defense is going to show up and shut somebody down the jets week 15 we don't know that's going to turn into a, a quick blowout where they're just running the whole second half. And again, they have Seattle Week 16. So if you can get to that Week 16 matchup in your Hell Cup, great news. But I don't mind exploring maybe maybe selling Cooper Cup after a big game against Seattle because it, it just hasn't happened this year. Agreed. Let me check the line here, man. We got the Seattle Seahawks plus one versus the Los Angeles Rams. Who do you got? That's a surprising spread to me. I mean, I think... The Chris Carson injury is really, a, a, like you said, it's affecting this team. They, they're, mm -hmm. They've become one-dimensional. Yeah. And DJ Dallas and Travis Homer, they just are not, they don't have the power and yeah. the ruggedness that Chris Coff, Carson offers as a runner. They just, they can't get that two, three yards every play, no matter what's given to them. Like Chris Carson can just. Yeah, Carson, Carson gets stuffed at the line by two guys and he still falls forward for a yard and a half. I mean, that's it's just rare. It just is. James Robinson's kind of like that for Jacksonville. That's why when people have you were you were way earlier on James Robinson than I was. So credit to you. But when you know my readers come in and ask me, they say, "Ah, is he a flash in the pan?" I say, "No, no, 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 not not James Robinson. Like he's he's a different running back. He's always falling forward for an extra two or three yards. That's rare. Chris Carson is that way. That's why when people were like on Rashad Penny, I'm like, dude. I mean, I don't. I, again, I don't know how to describe it, but there's just a physicality that coaches respond to and the teammates respond to and it's the difference between three and a half and four and a half yards per carry it, unfortunately it it's also the difference between staying healthy and being hurt <laughs> sure. consistently every fair. year very fair point but, very fair point but yeah this team does need chris carson back but mm -hmm. a one point spread give me seattle Seattle. Yeah, I'll take Seattle. I mean, if look, if Wilson didn't didn't throw for, or I'm sorry, threw two picks, I think he fumbled twice, something like that. It was four turnovers. If he didn't do that, I mean, Seattle probably wins that game. Um, it was a rough game. I give credit to Buffalo. I think Buffalo had a nice game plan um, against Seattle, but Buffalo's really good up the sidelines. Um, the Rams, they have Jalen Ramsey. They're okay against... I think the Buffalo strength, basically, is the sidelines, and they have weaknesses everywhere else, whereas I th think the Rams' strength is almost like their defensive line. Seattle is more able to neutralize that. I think matchup-wise, Seattle will have a better time against the Rams, especially coming off a loss and being a little pissed. So I'll take the Seattle Seahawks as well.